Navigation and I have a very interesting relationship. If you remember any of my previous Navigation videos, you would know this brand is super hit or miss for me. From my past experiences, I've either loved their leggings or hated their leggings. <laughs> Maybe hate's a strong word, but some of their leggings I really couldn't get behind. So far, I've tried four of Navigation's collections. We're talking camo, wild thing, contour, and the scrunch. Contour and scrunch? I didn't really vibe with that one. Those. <laughs> but the wild thing in camo, those have my vote and they're pretty much the same thing, so that's why. So with that being said, we have a tiebreaker here. We're gonna be reviewing the brand new collection from Navigation, it's their Sport Seamless. I'll be testing out the light gray and this beautiful blue Caribbean color. They also had black and charcoal, and I'm using the word had because yes, everything's sold out as usual. But before we go any further, please do consider subscribing to this channel. We make new videos every single week reviewing all sorts of activewear brands, so definitely comment down below a brand that you would like to see next. All right, so let's see what we're looking at with this Navigation Sport Seamless. I'm gonna go with my favorite color, the Caribbean blue. And guess what? I'm not a blue kind of gal, but this one though, this one. As I'm getting older, I feel like my tastes are changing ever so slightly. I'm actually grabbing a lot of blues lately. I also think it has a lot to do with this particular shade of blue. It's very gorgeous and very summer friendly. Let's get a load of this band, all right? <laughs> I think that's the big hitter of this legging is holy crap. Navigation went hard on the branding. This is one stretchy, big, thicky of a band. One thing I noticed right away, I had to check, was if the Navigation branding cut off on the seam band in the middle on the back. I hate when brands do that, or it'll be like, Jim, shh, and it just stops, or Alpha and then it just stops. In this case, they made sure that they did not do it. So it has navigation on one side of the hip and on the other to match. Nice and symmetrical, just how I like it. So right below this thick elastic band, you actually have a one, two, three, four tier ribbed section. Not a band, it's not a tapered tier band, but it is a tapered ribbed little paneling going right underneath the band. It says on their website that they added in this little rib paneling underneath to ensure that there's no movement, it keeps the band in place, and eliminate unnecessary bunching. But the question at hand is, does it actually do that? Which we will get into in just a second. So I noticed right away there's no scrunch. There's no contour whatsoever. This is one hell of a solid legging. The band is the statement. This kind of geeked me out because I was like, all right, there's no contour, there's no scrunch, not even a seam to divide the cheeks, but on the website, it looks like a scrunch. So I was thinking to myself, all right, either these are just gonna work magic on the glutes or there's something going on behind the scenes where someone's Photoshopping something. So this is what it looks like when you first put them on. They go on really easily, they're that stretchy. This is the kind of legging you gotta slowly just work on up. Did I put it on the right way? Yeah, I did. Okay. First take on the glutes, this is what you're looking at. But well, let's go ahead and do the damn thing with this, shall we? Do you see how that material literally made its way in by itself? All I did was pull this up and it, it did the rest for me. Remember, no scrunch, no contour, no seam breakup, nothing. That is one thing I gotta say about this material is it's stretchy and it just acts like a paint on your body. It just painted my body. This looks like it's painted on me. The back side, at least, because here's what we're working with up front. The Barbie crotch is pretty nuts. <laughs> There's no denying that. You see that excessive wrinkling right around the groin? The same functionality that's causing this nice, natural looking scrunch is also causing this. So the Barbie crotch is a thing, unfortunately. There's nothing you can do about it. But in Navigation's defense, they advertise that on the site. So if you take a look at this picture, I'll post it right here, you can see there's a blatant Barbie crotch. They let it be known. Like if you buy this legging, you're gonna get a Barbie crotch. But the plus side is there's no dreaded CT. I'm wearing seamless underwear and it's nice and smooth down below, smooth sailing. As far as the band goes, fairly compressive, but it's not digging in. It's not annoying. I don't have this crazy muffin top going on. I mean, you're gonna get a little bit of that dig. That's natural. You got a straight band going on here, but you can't deny that it doesn't just suck your in. Suck your in, suck what? 
but you cannot deny that it doesn't hug the curves really nicely. I feel like it pops and snatches that waist, right? My hips are popping, my waist is snatched. I actually did work out in these leggings, as you can tell from the overlap clips. I wanted to test them out fairly. And the one thing that they did say is this is meant to just be one of those bands to prevent the sliding. I'm glad they added this in because with this material, it has so much potential of sliding down the leg. So the fact that they put this really nice, compressive, thicker band here prevents any slippage. There was no gaping whatsoever. They did good on that. And it's reinforced by the four tier ribbing underneath the band. I would say these are perfectly true to size. I'm wearing a size small in both these leggings and I really think that my true size is working perfectly. I think if you're in between sizes, I mean, I would probably say size down because of how stretchy it is. You don't want any more bunching than we already got going on here. However, I will say if you do end up sizing down if you're in between, you do run the risk of this band cinching in a little bit tighter and you might get unwanted pinching. Something I noticed when I was working out is that anything high intense, like just jumping, yo, the jiggle's crazy. There's no compression in this <laughs> leggings other than the band itself. So if you wanna do hit, that's at your own risk, all right? I don't have that kind of confidence. There's not enough support down here for me to try to do that. So on me, both of these colors are about 85% squat proof. Not terrible for how light they are, but nevertheless, when I get really low, you can see my dark underwear. If I were you, wear nude seamless underwear, you should be okay. Okay, so wanted to throw the gray on really quick. I couldn't help but notice before when I put these on, and yep, I'm feeling it again. The light gray is ever so slightly stretchier. And with that being said, I feel like there's a little more room right in the groin area. Keep in mind, man, you, you stick your pelvis out, it's gonna look nice and smooth. When you do a little bit of that, like say if you're standing for a photo or posing, you're gonna see extra bagginess. This light gray feels a little bit looser than that Caribbean color. Also, let's touch base on the length. So you could shimmy this up like this. I am five foot three and we're at a very comfortable length here. Being that this is a new collection, <laughs> we are gonna hit this legging with the sweat test. Never before seen legging, we gotta do a sweat test. Okay. 12, is that how many I do? Go 15. Okay, so if you're a heavy sweater, wow. This is the lightest color they got and sweat is obviously showing through. So let's go ahead and see how fast it wicks. 12.56. Here we go, let's count, let's count now. I do think that overall, even though these are thicker, a little on the thicker side, I think these can still be good as a summertime legging because they still feel very lightweight. But with that thickness, I'm starting to see that the wicking isn't all there. You can see the sweat, especially on this light gray, and it's not wicking as fast as I would like it to. Again, the thicker the material, the harder it is to wick. Well, 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 navigation. You surprised me in this one. What did you guys think of the sport seamless? Comment down below and let's chat about it. Not gonna lie, they surprised me in a good way. I'm actually really thrilled with these leggings. I'm not gonna be returning them, they're mine. Like all leggings, there's pros and cons, and it depends on what you're looking for in your performance wear. For me, lifting weights and keeping it low key at the gym, these are just what I need. The only thing that just really started bugging me was that Barbie crotch. There's no getting around that. You gotta give and take with this legging a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if you tried this sport seamless yet and what your thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.